Terrible situation, Melanie. Brianna Icharino spoke with us. She said that was their first date. They had just wrapped up a night at a local karaoke place. They decided to come here to Voodoo Donuts. Now, as they walked down the sidewalk after leaving Voodoo Donuts, disaster struck in the form of a speeding Porsche going close to 100 miles an hour. I saw a car come in, and I could tell it was moving really fast. Um, I knew she wasn't going to make the curve. I had the thought that we should hop into the parking lot. Um, in case she came up on the sidewalk and I couldn't act on that thought before it just it came at us so fast. Brianna Icharino says the car went right past her and for a few seconds she thought her date was safe. Unfortunately, she learned he was thrown to the ground and in serious condition. I was on the phone with 911. They wanted me to try to do CPR. I knew it wasn't going to be a good idea to roll him over. Um, and someone came over and they checked his pulse for me. I was too stunned to move and they said it was very faint. And I was just staring at him and they said, you don't need to be looking at him, just turn around. And I did, but I also didn't want to not be paying attention to him. A first responder delivered the terrible news to Brianna. I can't believe he's gone. And I watched it and also like, not being able to believe how close it was to almost being me. I Torino moved to Houston a few years ago from Connecticut. The pair met on OK Cupid and bonded over a mutual love of music. Their first date was supposed to be Friday, but they decided to meet Tuesday night at Avant Garden for karaoke. I wish I would have gotten to know more about him. Um, we'd been texting for a few days, so you know, I got to learn a little bit about him from those. I, I know that he loved his family. He said he had spent the weekend with them in Galveston. He didn't deserve to go like that. He didn't deserve to go now at all like that. There were three people in the Porsche that struck Icharino's date. The 33-year-old driver of that vehicle did show signs of impairment, according to HBD, and she is now facing charges of intoxication manslaughter. Felony charges, Melanie. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Yeah, just absolutely horrendous. Your heart really goes out to that young woman. Thank you so much, Jeff.